Hello, welcome to this mini tutorial on creating your own brushes in Serif's Draw Plus X3 and Serif's Digital Scrapbook Artist. The process is the same in both programs. This is Draw Plus X3, but it has similar features for creating brushes. First of all, I've created a folder for my brushes, uh, but if you want to add your own, just do add, create your folder name. I won't do it because I've already done one. Right, in your blank area, or if you've got some bushes, click on a blank area, right click and add spray. Here comes the dialog for the add brush process. First of all, we want some images. These images ideally are pings with a transparent background. If you've got a solid background, it just won't look right. So sort them out with as pings. You can do this many ways, but with serif programs, several of them have a cutout studio, which makes this process simple. First of all, select your first image and open. Your second image and open. You can add as many images as you want, but for this tutorial, we'll just concentrate on three images. Although six, up to six makes a nice, I, nice brush. More than that tends to get a bit cluttered. Right, we've now got three images. In here, as you see down here, they're all a bit squashed up. So in here you can either type in a percentage of spacing or you can use the slides to slide them to where you want. We'll use about 90%, 91%. Uh, you've got variance in the spacing. We use a bit less, but that's 32%. Horizontal jitter, this also provides some sort of varying of the spaces. And vertical jitter, as you can imagine, increases vertical varying. You come to the rotation dynamics, and again, you've got three similar controls with a rotation offset, follow path rotation, and a rotation variance. For now, I'll just use the rotation offset. Now, I'll add a bit of rotation variance as well. Now, give your brush a name. Butterflies. Sounds a good one for this brush, and click OK. You've now got your brush in your own brushes palette. If you click on it and select the brush tool, you can paste away with your paint away with your butterfly brush. Hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. I'd like to thank Lon and William for providing the images and teaching me how to do this. They're both regular contributors on the Serif forum. Thanks for watching. Bye.